Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I just want to show you my, by far my most favorite feature inside of the Power Query Editor. I've just got a really simple model here that I'm going to demonstrate this on. Um, and to do this, you need to get to the Power Query Editor obviously first. And so you can do that um, by clicking on Transform Data. And when I look at my data sets now, I always think in this particular area, how can I expand on them? How can I add interesting information that is going to help me in what I want to evaluate or what I want to showcase in my reports, okay? Also, I think about, well, how, how, can, how can I clean up some of my information and, and how could I make it more informative in my like um, legends or in my axes of my charts, etc. And column from examples enables you to do this really, really quickly and easily. Okay, there's obviously a lot of functionality that you can you can get out of um, out of right clicking and you've got a whole lot of options. You can obviously use the ribbon as well. But what I want to explore is really um, the coolest feature in here as well. Like column from examples is is sort of got some inbuilt machine learning type capabilities in it that Microsoft have embedded into the product in uh, in recent times. Okay. And so this is, as I say, a pretty generic data set, but there's obviously plenty that we can do with column from, from examples. So I'm just going to run through a couple of examples and just show you how you can quickly iterate through the many, many of these um, and, uh, and, 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 and sort of like just create lots of different interesting um, columns and, and, and additional dimensions. Okay, so I'm going to um, first of all click here. Um, and then I'm going to go column from examples. Okay, so it's in the add column area and then column from examples. And then all you need to do is say, for example, okay, I want to maybe take the first four letters here of, of each uh, customer name and make them capitals, right? And that's going to be like the code for that particular customer, okay? Instead of having to write out like all of that crazy logic in a formula or something like that, I can literally just start typing it out. So I'm just going to go A V O N here, push enter. It hasn't exactly sort of picked it up for me at the moment. It's sort of said, okay, well, let's go and grab all the letters, right? So what I want to do is come down to this one and then type out just the four letters again and check out what happens. It sort of just works out for me that I want the first four letters or up to, you know, there's not four letters, um, four, four, four characters, all those to be capitals. And then that becomes the individual, um, the individual, name or, or or code for that particular customer okay and so then i can say customer code like so and just like that i have added additional um dimension to my data set which didn't appear before and then from here again it's like easy you can go to the next thing where okay say for instance there's some things that you still want to change well obviously you can um, branch out off that and maybe you want to like if this particular say this particular code e ei is not um you know is not exactly what you want well then you can you can dive in and change individual ones if you if, you, if you're that way inclined so maybe maybe you want to add a, a different code like that so you can do you can you can sort of use use the column from examples as a starting point and then branch out into something else and so there's more things that we can do though so i'm just going to go through a couple of other examples so say for instance we want to um, maybe create some some other custom code we can sort of say we could write cus and then um, a AV. So let's just see if this sort of works it out. So I can say WA, and so there it sort of works out. You know the, the custom coding that I've um, I've created. So custom coding. I just name it like so. Okay, and then I go OK. Okay, so let's let's do some other things. So what I can also do here is say, for instance, um, I want to just do a quick calculation i want to change the the country instead of having australia maybe i just want to put put a au right and it quickly identifies it for me that's the, that's the thing i mean obviously um country code so obviously you can do this in a few ways right you can do this by say splitting the column duplicating the column splitting it then capitalizing it etc but this to me is the fastest way like this is the fastest way to do this now right and maybe I want to do something even more tricky. Like maybe I want to, in this particular case, I want to get the first, the first letter from each different word here. Okay, so let's let's try that. So uh, and I want to capitalize it. So I'm going to go NSW. Okay, and then I'm going to come down to here and go NT. 
and, th and there you go it kind of it already sort of works out and then this is q it works out just by me p placing the um information there so then i can just improve the algorithm um that way that one didn't uh that didn't work actually because because i confused it i confused it so i gotta do it again i gotta do it again but again it's i mean it's super easy um i can just go column from examples i confused the algorithm that's why it didn't work for me in that, in that particular case i'm gonna do nsw i'm gonna come down here and go nt and th these are sort of the code names for for the australian territories nt and then i'm going to go q here right and then i'm going to go sa is sorted out and then t this should just be t for tasmania and then this should be v and then wa cool okay and so now i have the region codes okay and so that particular you know think about the formula that you would have to write to try and figure that out um, or the logic that you need to create but just by me typing that out i was able to get that additional dimension now that i could use and i then say i wanted to create like a, a bar chart or a, or a donut chart or a pie chart like i don't have to use the full name i can just use the abbreviated code that i created inside of here and these are these are the things that i constantly look for I, i'm constantly looking for these you know in a lot of cases in my lookup tables right so obviously sales is our fact table here but, but my lookup tables are what supports um is going to do all the filtering um ar around all the calculations i do in my fact table and so i'm always looking for these opportunities to make things um, more concise for my consumer when i actually create my visualization and so i can just very quickly come in here and say okay well, maybe maybe i want to want to want to create some city codes right um, and then i can just go syd and then or maybe i'll go alb and then that gives me a three letter code for all of all of these different um, cities that i've got now okay so instead of in my chart having like these huge names or these long names i can now have an abbreviated code whether in that particular case it makes sense you know you obviously want to make sure your user knows what they're looking at so it depends on the familiarity of the data your consumers have um, but you know these are just examples of, of of what you can actually do with this amazing feature okay that's it that's all i want to go through um you know the, definitely have a play around with this it is by far my most uh, my favorite uh, feature inside of here i use it so much all the time now instead of writing out like complex logic i just i just get a lot of it done very quickly here as i'm optimizing my tables for my model and you know this is part of the first pillar of, of our four pillar framework we have around power bi development and you know this is a, a feature that i use a lot in that particular pillar okay Take care, everyone, and uh, look forward to chatting to you next time. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.